Hello, my fellow Americans. I am Alfred Eli Beach. I am an inventor, a publisher, and a patent lawyer. I am here to tell you of a new invention I have had. This invention that I speak of will save time and space for all Americans. I have created a new subway that will be pushed by air pressure, not a steam engine. Ah, uh, being rich is fantastic. I can't think of a single thing I can complain about. I can. I can think of at least a few. There's so much traffic on Broadway. I mean, look at this. It's crazy how many people are on the street. How do they all fit? Hmm, just if I had some type of invention that could fix New York's biggest problem. I do have the perfect invention. The Beach Pneumatic Transit System. Before you say no, hear me out. I have an idea to get people around. We use underground tunnels throughout New York. I'm sorry. It just seems like it would be loud and make everyone on Broadway upset. Yeah, I think he's actually right. To be honest, it would just be loud and obnoxious. Fine. I understand. I understand it won't work at all. But hear me out on this. What about in the same place with the same pneumatic technology? You give me a permit to make postal tubes for delivery. Considering the fact that the tubes would be much smaller, I'm sure the noise would be quieter. So I'm down. Let me ask my partner. Hey, partner, are you down? Partner, you're so right. Postal tubes are so much more logical than a railway underground. We've decided to give you a permit for two smaller tubes for postal service only. That works great, dude. I am willing to pay for this all by myself, but if I have to, may I put both of the postal tubes into one larger tunnel to save money? That's fine with me, but just keep this a secret. I don't want the people of New York knowing about this. This is working out great. I have $350,000 saved up just to build this tunnel. So I'm guessing that you want to get this done pretty fast, right? Of course he does. We're not trying to make the whole railway. We're just trying to make it long enough to demonstrate the power of pneumatic transit. Remember, if we accomplish this, we'll gain supporters and we can stretch this all the way from Broadway to Central Park. Hey dude, why do you think all these materials are being put out in front of Devlin's clothing store? I have no clue, my man. It's obvious they're trying to build something in Devlin's clothing store's basement, though, but I just don't know what. Hey, Box, now that we're almost done, don't you think we should get the word out about this? Hmm, I didn't think about this. How am I gonna get the word out? Wow, my man, I guess all that material was for an underground subway this New York Tribune magazine says. Hmm, I wonder who wrote this. It says it's from Anonymous. Maybe it was tipped off. Well, man, either way, I'm excited for it. Pneumatic transit? That sounds exciting. Sure, this place is fantastic, but it's more just a curiosity. I mean, it only goes down like 300 feet and then just turns around. I can't even exit on the other side. But sir, we put so much work into it, and now everybody's just calling it a curiosity. I wish everyone called it a real trans. But that's because it is a curiosity. The Beach Nomadic Transit isn't done yet. We want it to reach all the way to Central Park. This year, we've had already 400,000 people ride. With such success, there's no way we couldn't get a permit to keep building on this. And there's no way people won't fund us. Trust me, good pal. Nobody's going to be in opposition of this now. Actually, we are in complete opposition of the Beach Pneumatic Transit System. Ha 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 ha. That is ludicrous. Why would anybody be in opposition of the Beach Pneumatic Transit System? I am Alexander Tony Stewart. 
the giant, John Jacob Astor Hill. And we both completely oppose of the beach pneumatic system simply because we believe it'll destroy and damage buildings and interfere with surface traffic. We are the property owners of most of the property on Broadway, and I'm sure the courts would rather listen to us than you two. I'm sorry, but I just have to agree with Alexander Turney Stewart and John Jacob Astor Ill. They have more logic. This is a new age and we have learned from our mistakes. Now, as legislator, we will pass the bills for your subway. We can finally build our subway. <laughs> but don't get your hopes up too fast. Hi, I'm Governor John T. Hoffman, and I'm sorry, boys, but I'm just gonna have to veto this. It just seems like I'm giving you too much authority without any compensation for my city or state. Please, you seem like such a smarter governor. Please, please, please pass the bill for my subway. If you can create the sufficient amount of funds before six months to create your subway, I shall let it prosper. Now that the stock market has crashed, there's no way I can save up this money.